Hi, I'm Lucas Schierveld. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Gaffer. Today, we're going to talk about uh, a flex mat, and this is the IntelliTech Light Cloth 3.0 6FC. So a lot of people are familiar with the 2.0 version, and that was bicolor only. Now you can get bicolor or FC, full color. I have the 6FC, the Mega 6FC, and that is uh, six panels. You can get an eight panel version, you can get a four panel version, two panel version, maybe even a one. Uh, but I liked this size, and I tell you, I was asked, hey, uh, would you like to review this? I said, yes, I would. Uh, and they said, uh, which size would you like? I picked it on the size of the box that it came in. I just thought this would be a really nice size for travel. You know, I have lights I can put on my truck that are this size uh, or, you know, are smaller, but can be, you can put a big softbox on it. But if you're going to travel, hey, this is a great size. However, this particular case doesn't have wheels. I have a, an, an Aperture Nova P300C and a 600C, and those both travel in an old sky panel box together. So I didn't need the case that came with the P300C. So I was able to put all this content into there. So that, that works out great. And then I have a case with wheels for travel. This size, this six panel size is basically three foot by four foot. And you compare that to the Aladdin four by four, and it comes with a, a very sturdy frame. And this is 600 watts. This Mega 6 FC, ostensibly 350 watts, it's, it's really about 330 watts. Uh, at, at 3200, 4400 Kelvin, and 5600 Kelvin. I was reading wattage wise uh, at 100%. This was like in the 330 range. So, and then if you go up to 10,000 Kelvin, it's like 320 range. But a very ingenious breakdown frame. And on Instagram, I did a fast motion version of this, of, of putting the unit together. A lot of people say, whoa, it takes a lot of time. Well, anything with a soft box takes some time. Here, because you're, you're breaking it down into a, a very compact length, you know, this whole thing comes down to this length on the, the soft box. Yeah, it takes a little time. You, you need to put it together so that it'll break down in, into a smaller case. More often you do it, the faster it goes. And there are some ways of speeding up the process or, or using different soft boxes that are A, not as heavy and B, uh, go up quicker. There are three different modifiers that that you can choose with this unit. This is the sort of, uh, you know, deeper snap bag, so to speak, with a soft crate. You can get a pop-up version. It's same size, uh, but if you put the diffusion towards the emitters, then you get, you know, your crate. Uh, but if you want to keep the diffusion further away, you could actually put the the grid on the inside and do it that way. And because they've put Velcro on both sides of their straps, you can do it either way. So you have the option. Now, if you do it this way, you're taking away the whole reason for having a crate. But on the other hand, it, um, this gives it body, you know, just something else you could try. So it's nice to have that option. I, I, I like the fact that they thought ahead and gave you the straps for, for both ways. The other option for this is to put it into a lantern. And we'll do that in a minute, but that's, that's your third option. And there are skirts and everything. Just looking at the frame, in the past, all the frame rails have been smooth, like, like this top rail. And so then maybe there was an opportunity for slippage with this back pin clamp. Uh, however, now this back rail has ridges on it, and so this isn't going anywhere, and this isn't twisting, so if there's gonna be any movement, it's gonna come from however you're grabbing it from your, your rig point. Very smartly thought up collapsible frame. So I, I really like this aspect of it. And then to pull your, your flex mat taut to the frame, 
they've got these really clever clips, aeronautic or something, like you'd have in an airplane. And then you can pull those all taut. But if that's too slow for your setup, hey, just pop the four corners on and, and, and away you go. I like that and that they're attached already rather than, you know, extra things that you have to add. The soft box in front, it's Velcro to adhere to the flex mat. And that's, you know, a lot of Velcro, it's pretty strong, but you have extra little Velcro straps, top and bottom for that as well. And then just in terms of what you get with the kit, you get the frame, you get the flex mat, and then you get a control box that I have here, power cable. And if you're gonna rig it like this or anywhere, it's a good idea to get the extra head lead. So it's just a, an extension. And then you also get a clamp that you can attach your control box to uh, a stand. And then in this case, you know, now it all rolls together very easily. I'm just very thankful that Aperture in the beginning just started uh, adding an extra clamp so that you could put your control box easily on and you didn't have to jerry-rig your own uh, setup for that. There's one other thing that you get, this sort of dual adjustable uh, receiver on either end so that if you want to make this more flexible than your, your pin, you can put this onto this pin and then now you can put that to whatever pin you have here and, and you can rotate that uh, in any way. Might be easier than a head. Here, I'm just gonna attach this to the head. Tricky to get the angle. So maybe I'll just put it upside here like this first and then it's easier to tilt. I'll we'll put a safety on it. There's no fixed ring to go to. Okay, then we could run the cable and then that can, run down to your, your control box. Just real briefly, this kind of a menace arm. These are modern uh, attachments from Modern Studio. And then I have a Mini Vader 2, so uh, Matthew's crank stand. And I'm putting the one leg in the direction of the weight so that this weight won't tip it. And then I have a, a strap going to the base. You could put weight on the back of this as well. Uh, this is just a 12 foot stick of speed rail, not a big deal. Of course, you'd have to loosen this to raise it. And then you, it'd be nice to have someone here that can be on this side while you raise it and then uh, tighten up your, your strap. But getting back to the light. So this whole setup uh, without the box, it's about just over 12 pounds. And then if you add this front, then it's uh, about 17, just over 17 pounds. And if you put the pop-up front, then it's just 16 pounds. It's gonna be lighter than the 4x4 Aladdin, regardless. To me, it's a nice size for, you know, sort of far side key work. If you've got uh, multi-cam and you've got, you know, two people that are, are talking to each other and you wanna have your far side keys, then um, this could be a, a really nice unit. Um, and that's how I've seen the IntelliCloth 2.0 used. And now here you get, um, you know, same unit, basically same output, but you also have the advantage of color. So now when you're dialing in your CCT, you also have green magenta, or you can go full color if, if, if that's your, uh, your game. Changes that they've made to the 2.0 version are really solid. Uh, the fact that they've added color and not really taken away output uh, in CCT is, uh, you know, a lot of pluses. And then just in terms of interface, you've got menu, select, fan, and blackout. So if you're in CCT mode here, you select it, and now you're in the interface and here you can change here so you can go all the way down to 3000 and you can go all the way up to virtually 10,000 and then with this button you bring up your intensity and then you would uh, select and now you move this one again to bring up your green magenta. And then fan is either off 
or on. And black out just takes everything out. And this is also the mode it goes into when you attach DMX. And then you have effects. And in effects, select, you have your different versions, your different choices, and you can change the rate and speed of those. Back to menu, move to RGB, uh, same interface, or check this out. Very straightforward, HSI, select, Bluetooth, DMX, I'm not quite sure what this is yet, that'll come later. Uh, you can change here, you can change your wired to uh, Wi-Fi, but that's not included in this unit yet. That comes out in, in a, a, a new CRMX version. Gel set. That's the range. And the last one, dimming mode, and that's just for your curve. Now let's put on the lantern. And I had some bags sitting around so I could put the pop-up materials in here. Oh no, pop-up materials go in here, and then the uh, lantern goes in here. So let's see how this goes together. Looks like you get some rails. There's four rails. So from local hardware store, I picked up some small bags where I can keep all these pieces a little better organized. Organization is not really my problem. My problem is labeling. I don't do a good enough job of labeling. One is like a half stop grid and the other is a full stop. So the cool thing about this piece is that it folds down so neatly. You have to put the inside flaps on the inside and then you can fold all the pieces together. And then there's a Velcro strap. And then I got another little pouch to put some of these smaller pieces in so they don't rattle around in the case. Now, why don't we flatten this out, more lantern style. And I have not put this together, but this does look familiar to another lantern I have. And I imagine they'll cross like that. And Bo will want to come underneath here. First time doing it, so it's got to get its groove. I guess my question is, all you've got is Velcro. It'd be nice to have a little safety on there somehow. One more. I guess you can kind of get your hand in there pretty well. So that's just held by Velcro though. All right. And then the skirt. There's another layer of Velcro, but that's going to be weight that's pulling on that. So it'd be nice to have some kind of loop here that you could attach to this, like the other box. And then this has internal Velcro so you can roll it up, which is great. That's pretty clever too. Okay, then you could roll it up. Here's a little angle. Yeah. Nice large lantern. So all in all, a very versatile unit. Here are my color rendering scores taken with a Sekonic C800 color meter. You'll notice I didn't talk about output. I haven't taken the opportunity to compare this unit to other panels, but you can make an educated guess that it's going to fall in between Akina Flow Air Max and the Aladdin 4x4 Mosaic. Probably not as bright as a Lightmat 8, but more compact for travel, and it has full color capability at a great price. And then just one last thing I wanted to say is that Intellitech has a very intentional 
repair policy. So you contact them and they will take care of you, which is kind of close to my heart. It's something I've been interested in, getting people to talk about it. And uh, the more we as an industry get together on having a solid way to take care of issues, the better. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Here we've got uh, electrician Jason Miller sitting in. We've got some warm practicals in the background. So we've warmed up our key, which is a, an Aladdin mosaic. It's a four by four. It's coming through uh, a double break of diffusion. That's another half grid there. And then we're blocking out with Wag Flag's uh, ambient light, little bounce, using a mini Lini to hold the AC adapter onto the stand. We've got an IntelliTech light cloth 3.0 as an edge. It's got enough output that you can keep it far enough back. And then we've got two Orion 675s, one with an ellipsoidal, giving a little cut on the background, and one with a Fresnel that's just uh, sort of a three-quarter backing uh, some elements in the set. A simple setup that all arrived in a 2005 Honda CRV. So in this instance, we were using the Mega 6 FC for an edge, and we had it at like 10, 15%. It w wasn't a big deal, but we could pull it way back and hide it from you know, both cameras because it had plenty of output. And we could have used it as the key as well and just put that behind you know, an eight by, six by, whatever would have totally worked. But because we had the larger flex in the mosaic, uh, this was relegated to the edge.